Hey y'all. Hello. I'm Sean. I'm Matthew and we are Broken Dreams Reborn. Today we want to show you how we started downsizing our house, getting rid of all of our junk, a lot of stuff, even some crap, and a lot of stuff that we don't want to get rid of, like we have thousands of pictures, um, home VHS tapes, what did we wind up doing with those? That's right, it's quite a process, and we'd like to know in the comments below if you've ever had to downsize, whether it's for RVing or just because you felt like it, how hard was it for you? What was difficult about it? What did you do with those things that you just couldn't stand to get rid of but you knew couldn't take up any more space in your living place? And did you wind up with a storage unit? And if you did wind up getting a storage unit, what size did you start off with? which has conveniently turned into a junk room. This closet we have to go through. We have all this stuff right here we haven't went through. Everything on the shelf, the table, and then everything against this wall. Um, we've already decided that that's gonna be either the sale pile or the donate pile. So that's what we're doing. This is our closet that we're going to go through next. We have stuff all on the top, clothes, and then stuff under the clothes. So hopefully we can get it done today. Don't pretend you don't have a closet that looks like this too. <laughs> and this is just one of our closet. This ought to be fun. What do you want to grab first? Grab a big box of something. What is this? I don't think we need that. Why did we save this? Oh, we just saved a box full of peanuts, an old t shirt, packing peanuts, and bubble wrap. So that's an easy fix. Um, throw it away. I don't <laughs> think we need it to pack anything, do we? we were I don't know if we're going to be good at this minimalism thing. Yeah, that goes in the trash. See what that is? Is that more packing stuff? This is just some plastic bags and another plastic bag. We oh, really we don't, don't need, need that. that. No. no. Alright, that's I'm notorious for keeping packaging on instructions for electronics and I've never gone back to use them again. Yes. Just a bunch of um, paperwork in Spanish and English and... Chinese. It's not top of the line, but we use these when we're on the computer, so... so we're going to keep those right now until yeah. we find some really good what wireless headphones so if y'all have some good wireless headphones that y'all like to use that aren't heavy on your ears and hurt your ears leave us a comment and let us know we'll check that out this is kept forever this is extra special it's the tickle me elmo when it was like top secret <laughs> we um bought it and we were going to save it if we ever had kids, and unfortunately we weren't able to have any kids due to medical reasons, so... I'm also, guessing. we thought it would be an investment because they were so hard to get, 
and us, like everybody, wanted our hands on just one, so we got one, and we never did anything with it. Now it's probably worthless. So now we're going to sell it, because we don't yeah. have anybody so, to give it to. we're donating. <laughs> Batteries last forever. Okay, this is um, the box for our Nest Cam, which um, we love. We use our Nest Cam as a security cam. It's It plays, what, 24-7, mm -hmm. and it backs up our footage for 10 days. We are going to want some type of security camera for our RV. We don't know if we're going to use Nest or Ring, or but we are going to have one. This is, it threads itself, as seen on TV. Like, I don't know how to sew, and I don't think Matthew knows how to sew. So here's another Dell box, but this was to the mm. Alienware. Again, this is my doing. I always keep useless stuff. So, where's the keyboard? I thought we had an alien. Where did the keyboard go? We must have used it. Um... We got the best mattress we ever had. It's yes. a Serta iComfort. Like mix. a hybrid. Hybrid. It has the foam and the springs, and it's wonderful. So we got the little sheep that goes with it. And, um, we don't need it. The sheep is maybe. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the keep pile right now. Or the, Do um, you think we need this? We don't need this, but I guess we're keeping it for now. <laughs> It's too cute. You know you go through waves. All right. I lost that battle. Ooh. Again, I, we keep stuff until it breaks, and then for some reason we just can't get rid of it. Crash. I know, I know. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's... Old license sort of. and letters and stuff. Our next item is a bag. We went, for pack we went to Chattanooga and stayed at this B and B called the Chanticleer. If y'all ever this remember. is wonderful. It's on top of Lookout Mountain. It's right next to Rock City. Right across the street, you can like walk. To oh Rock yeah. City. You don't even have to drive over there. And they, ha I don't drink coffee, but they have a Starbucks right down the road and everything. It's just a perfect location. It's a great little inn. It's really cool. Yeah. We can bring to throw the bag away though. Yeah, we don't need it. This is um, a pig so. with a bow tie. What should I do with the pig? I'm like a sucker for stuff now. Can I make it easy on you? So. This is a box that our micro cell came in, which we still have the micro cell. Oh, so. we could sell that. All right, what's next in the junk pile? An owner's manual. Well. We're keeping this, but we're not taking it with us. And we're not storing it either. Sort of. We have two of these, and each one's a little bit different. And then we have one gigantic one. I mean, it's like this big. I don't know if you can see this. And it used to be in the Disney... Institute. Disney Institute, which... Your had, shirt's dusty. Good grief. Disney Institute hasn't existed for a long time. It was in Walt Disney World in Florida, and she used to work for Disney World, so they had something called property control, and they had a big pallet full of these, and you got two little ones and one big one. And there are never going to be any more, and they came right from the walls of the Disney Institute, so we have them. So we have the two little ones and the one huge one, and they're going to her mom's house. The big one used to hang in her dad's house, and now it'll hang in her mom's house somewhere, and they're beautiful, so we're keeping these, sort of. See? Can you see these? Back in the day, we had pictures that we put on floppy disk. And the computers we have now do not read floppy disk. So we're having to take, we took all the pictures off the IBM, put them on floppy disk because it wouldn't hook up to the internet. And so in order to save our information, we had to put it on floppy disk because it was so old it couldn't even read like a CD disk. So this is how we have the computer set up right now. The gateway is all hooked up with its own keyboard and monitor and it has a mouse. 
And then the Dell, which is right next to the gateway, has my monitor that I use for work. I had to bring it in here from the living room and it's got its own keyboard and it's got a wireless mouse that we had to get from our laptop so it would work. And that bucket is empty floppy disk that Matthew has been taking pictures off the gateway and then I've been taking them and putting them in the Dell to save to the Dell. And then once they're all, we, we've been saving them to a gateway folder. And once we get all that done and everything's off the gateway, then we're going to look at the Dell. And Matthew's going to back everything up from the Dell on a removable hard drive that um, should save everything a lot quicker and we don't have to go through all the pictures like we did on the gateway and then the IBM's right there like I said earlier we had to take some pictures off the IBM and put and put it on um, floppy disk so that's what it looks like we got once we're done with all these computers see all the clutter we're gonna start going through all of the clutter in the room we even had to move our printer up there which it's unplugged right now because we live in an old house and it only has so many plugs. So it we started this um, right after lunch today around 1 and now it's 6 o'clock and still not done and we'll have to work on it next Saturday. So it's been a Saturday project for a while. This wasn't the first day that we started doing this, but this was the first day that we decided to hook to computers up so I could be doing something and Matthew could be doing something. All right, this is our hall closet. See, jackets. Yes, in Mississippi, we actually need them for a couple days out of the year. And the Office Depot box, these boxes here and here, and this box back in here. Sorry about the focus they are all filled with pictures and in fact this purple box on top this one up here right there has pictures in it as well and for us that's in our more than 20 years together we've had thousands of loose pictures you know we haven't always had these handy dandy telephones so we have to scan all them and put them online because we're putting them in deep storage. We're not going to have our hands on them anymore. So we just want them to be available to us and be there forever, or at least as long as the cloud is. That's a green bin. We have plastic bins. We've enjoyed using them as we've moved around through life and now they will be used for RVing in a way. There's Sean. What are you up to? Hey y'all. I'm the one that's doing the scanning of the photos. So I just put the two photos on the scanner and then I go to the computer and I hit photo. And what it's going to do is it's going to scan for 30 seconds to a minute to get the whole picture on the computer. And then I have all of these folders that I put different pictures in depending on dates and stuff. And then Matthew is going to upload the pictures to the cloud. So we'll have pictures on the cloud and on the hard drive. And we're gonna physically keep the hard copies. We're gonna put them in storage bins and keep them in a storage unit. And then we had to go through photo albums from the 70s and the 80s. And I have one right here, for example, that has this, um, you have to like peel it off. It was like kind of glued on there. But most of the pictures we were able to get off and, um, and I was able to put them on the scan, the scanner, the printer, but the ones that we couldn't get off of the glue, then Matthew just took a picture with our cell phone. So we still had a copy in case some disaster happened and we lost the physical evidence of the, the pictures that we have. So this is a whole bin full of the photo albums and we're gonna try to transfer them into this black bin that I have right here. And we're just gonna fill up the bin as much as possible to um, conserve space and stuff. And as Matthew showed you earlier, we have tons of photo frames and loose pictures and 
all of that. I think we have like four or five different bins that go down the hallway. And my mom is, um, she's gonna have a house and she's gonna keep a lot of our photos and stuff, but then there's gonna be some photos that me and Matthew keep in our storage bin. And this way we can even look at them online when they're when we're on the road and we don't have to rely on the physical pictures and she can do whatever she wants to with them at her house. And one other thing that Matthew mentioned right here is um, a TV that has the uh, VCR unit attached to it. It's all one unit and it has been like a lifesaver because it still plays the VHS tapes. So I'm able to put a VHS tape in there and if it's a, a tape that we want to save, then Matthew has um, it set up over here for his computer. We have two VCRs hardwired into his computer where it, Matthew can probably explain it better, where it transfers. Yeah, it's just a, I think it's a Roxio program and it just goes through this cord right here into a USB drive and then it comes up a program on there and it lets me either start a new project or mishmash them all together into one project and it lets you put them on digital, either on a disc or on the hard drive. We put them on the hard drive, and then it saves it in MP2 format, and I'd rather have them in MP4. So then I use a VLC player to convert them to MP4 with sound, and then we put them on the cloud. So hopefully they'll be there forever. And then her mom, is your mom getting the VHS tapes too? Yes, my mom's gonna get all of the VHS tapes, so even when she gets them, I really don't know how long VHS tapes last. Like I'm assuming they would eventually degrade over time, but we're still keeping the hard copies of the VHS tapes, but the VHS tapes will also be on the cloud, like Matthew said, but if something happened to the cloud, then we still will have the hard copies and she will have them in her house and they will not go outside and be exposed to the elements. They will be in a air conditioned type house or in the winter time it would have a heater, but it would be air controlled. So you showed us the photo albums. Why don't you show them the uh, the bigger pictures, the frames and stuff? Okay. Uh, down the hallway, Matthew just briefly um, showed you the bins. But like this bin's got all loose photos in it. It's got some albums, you know, high school albums from my dad and my mom and some that I had. I still have albums up or annuals up in our attic that I haven't went through yet. And these are photos and photo frames. Matthew has bubble wrapped them all because they're going to go to my mom's house and she might display some or she might store some. And uh, this bin is all filled with um, bubble wrapped photo frames. And then he's still got a couple more to um, bubble wrap. And then over here is another bin that's got tons of frames and the fragile uh, type photo frames that you might get from Disney that's got characters and figurines that are like, what is that called? It's not porcelain, but just breakable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what we're doing right now is going through all of the pictures and the VHS tapes. Thank you so much for watching our downsizing video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And then if you want to see future videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of them. And let us know in the comments down below what all y'all had to do for your downsizing process. Did y'all have to go through old um, family home VHS tapes? Did you have like thousands of physical pictures before the cell phones really took off? Um, just leave us a comment below and let us know how long it took you to downsize in your sticks and bricks. Bye. Bye.